What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, this is Native Nomads. And today what I'm gonna do is show you exactly how to install your Alucab tilting fridge slide on your deck system. It doesn't matter what truck you have, this application is pretty much the same. Um, I've never used any Alucab products in the past. The reason I went with Alucab this time is simply because they are pretty much the gold standard when it comes to overland equipment. Um, all of their stuff that they've built from their canopies to their truck beds, everyone raves about Alucab. And I had an opportunity to spend less money on the fridge slide by going with a different company, but I thought that this was one of those items where I know it's gonna get a lot of abuse, it's gonna be used tons, and I didn't want to sacrifice any type of quality for a couple of bucks. Now, if you see behind me, I've already installed it, and I'm going to uninstall it today and put it back in because a few things that you may wanna take into consideration if in fact you're gonna put this on your deck system. A, what we have here, and there's not much I can do about this, is I can only open it that far. Now, that's far enough to get a gallon of milk in there. There's, there's not much I can't do with the, um, the door opening this much, but I cannot open this drawer. So we put this in last week. We went on a climbing trip down to Kentucky, and I used it tons. I had it plugged into my Blue Eddy. I had it plugged into the... Um, vehicle itself and it worked flawlessly but there were things that I noticed as we were traveling that were inconvenient like that drawer um, unfortunately there's nothing I can do about this I wish there was but I'm kind of stuck with it so I'm gonna take this thing out I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to install it all the products that I'm using today the fridge slide as well as this ice co fridge have not done a review on this but this is a fantastic product um, probably the best fridge for the money that you could possibly purchase. And we will get this thing back installed and I'm gonna show you exactly the process behind doing it. It's very simple and uh, hopefully get you on the way to installing your Alucat fridge slide. Okay, with the fridge off the slide, the tray removed, there's a few things that you want to do when you're installing this. You need to take the drawer out. You don't have to, but I would recommend it. I didn't take it out the first time, but I wasn't able to reach the bolts all the way in the back. And without being able to reach those holes to put bolts in it, it's, uh, it bounces around a little bit. Also, trying to get this flush and even, you may have to use some double-sided Velcro, something to build it up and screw through that so everything is flush and it's not kind of bouncing around. I'm gonna take this drawer out, I'm gonna get everything pulled out and out of the way so then I can just take the base plate off and then install the base plate just a couple inches to the left. Okay, so after getting all that off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some waterproof tape up, up underneath the holes, and then I'm gonna put some black silicone in the holes that I created the first time I installed this. That way the tape will hold the silicone from coming through. Um, that should alleviate any p water penetrations. And then I might put a little piece of tape on top. I'm not real sure. All of it is gonna be situated underneath this. Um, underneath the fridge slide itself. So I'm not super concerned. I'm sorry if the camera is kind of like pulling focus there. But what I want to do now is I have it situated. So words of advice, make sure you can get your other drawer open. I just didn't think about it when I was installing it. Um, and then you don't want to have your fridge too far out, especially if you have a cap or even your tailgate. You may not be able to close it if you have it sitting so far out. So make sure that everything fits. That's what I just did. I make sure I got everything exactly where I want it. So now I'm gonna go through and re-drill the holes. All you need to do to re-drill the holes is grab a 5 16 bit because the bolts that they provide you are 5 16 and make your marks and drill your holes down through. Once you have your holes, two in the front, two in the middle, two in the back, once you have that done, you can then slide your bolts down through your 
deck system after you have your drawer out, obviously. Getting that drawer out was a pain and I would recommend that you take everything out of it because it's heavy as it is. I left everything in it and that was a lot harder than it needed to be. Um, something else to keep in mind. Underneath this platform right here, there's a grid, a plastic grid that goes, it hangs down about an inch and a half, two inches. And be careful that you're not drilling your holes on that grid or in a spot where you can't get your bolt to thread through. Um, I did that the first time I installed it. I had to kind of take one of them out and scoot it over a little bit. So I have five unnecessary holes inside my deck system right now, which kind of sucks but it's something that you can avoid if you just listen to those simple steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this done and then I'll come back and show you kind of the finished product um, and what you can expect once you get your fridge slide done. All right, so one more thing to note before we put this thing back together, your handle that you have, there is a bolt that goes through your handle into the fridge slide, the top piece of the fridge slide. Now, if you can see, my refrigerator is damaged severely because this little plastic piece came off and it was allowing that bolt just to continuously bash into the side of my refrigerator. So it's not beyond repair or broken, but now I have a huge gash in my refrigerator. So I'm going to Finish putting all this back together. We'll talk through the last little bit of getting this done and we'll get you on your way. Okay, so that is it as it pertains to the Alu Cab fridge slide for your deck system. It's a very, very easy thing to do. It took me about an hour to undo it. First time it took me about an hour and 20 minutes because I was fumbling around and I had kids running around. It was kind of crazy here, but oh God, an hour will get you done. Um, and it's a super solid application. I never bought anything from Alucab. Alucab, you do a great job. This thing is stout. Um, now, this is the extra large fridge slide. This is the Iceco 75 quart refrigerator. One thing that you need to make sure before you purchase anything is that your fridge is going to fit in the base of the fridge slide. This fridge slide is absolutely maxed out. There is no more space. I have the biggest fridge possible for this fridge slide. So if you wanna buy both of those in a combo, I will put the link in the description so you can purchase both of those and you don't even have to worry about it. The next task I have is figuring out the best way to keep my cords from being caught up in the fridge slide while I open it and close it. Um, it's something that plagued me on my climbing trip. It's something that's gonna plague me continuously until I figure out a way to solve that problem. If you have anything, please leave those in the comments. We would love to hear about those. I hope this video was helpful for you in taking your vehicle a little bit further and having something that works with your deck system. This is a power wagon um, and gladiators, they all work. Just make sure you have a couple of things. Clearance, gladiators with deck system, this is an issue. This clearance from the deck to the top of your RSI smart cap is a problem. It was a problem for me and my Gladiator and that's why I walked away from the Gladiator because there were more limitations there for the build um, than what I was willing to give up. So we'll see you guys on the next one.